right, spin orbit. We have it still there, uh, delta H spin orbit. Orbit. Well, we know what V is, so that derivative dV dr can be taken care of, the one over r. Um, that gives you e squared over 2 m squared c squared 1 over r cubed SL. And you remember that SL from 805 j squared minus s squared minus l squared. The reason that's why you tend to do addition of angular momentum, because uh, s and l, calculating the matrix elements of this thing is very easy in that basis, because every state there has a fixed value of s squared, a fixed value of l squared, and j squared um, has a couple of possibilities. So we must work with uh, the coupled basis, basis, and therefore we can attempt to find E1 of n, L, J, M, J, spin orbit, equal E squared over 2 M squared C squared N, L, J, M, J, S, L, R cube. The R cube has to stay inside the expectation value because the expectation value includes integration over space. So this is very important. N, L, J, M, J. And again, the usual question. The couple basis, we have degeneracies. Uh, all the states are degenerate there. So um, this time we fixed n, because degeneracies happen only when you fix n. So do we have the right to do this, to use the formula for perturbation, the non-degenerate perturbation theory, to do this calculation? And the answer is yes, because the perturbation S dot L over R cube commutes with J with L squared, with J squared, and with J Z. Okay, you need all that because you can have degeneracies by having different L values, and that would be taken care by this operator that has different eigenvalues when L is different. You can have degeneracies involving different J values. This would be taken care by this operator. And you can have degeneracies when M has different values, so that involves the JZ operator. So you really need a perturbation that commutes with all of them. Um, and uh, why does it commute uh, with all of them? So you, you can see it in several ways. Let's do L squared. L squared is Casimir. It commutes with any Li. It doesn't even think about S because it doesn't know anything about S, so it commutes with S. So L squared commutes with any Li and it commutes with S. And L squared is an invariant uh, commutes with R squared um, because R squared is rotational invariant. So everything commutes with that. In order to do uh, the other ones, you can also think in terms of this matrix. Uh, J squared, uh, J squared over here and S squared and and do all of them, you should do it and convince yourself that they all commute. So we can do this. If we can do it, it's good because then we can evaluate these quantities.
So let's do a little of the evaluation. So this E one N L J M J is equal to Let's evaluate the s dot l part by using 1 half j squared s squared minus l squared. So that gives you a factor of um, h bar squared over 2 with this 2 over there. So you get e squared h squared over 4m squared c squared j times j plus 1 minus l times l plus 1 minus 3 quarters times n l j m j 1 over r cubed n l j m j. OK. That should be clear from the fact you have j squared minus s squared. That's a 3 quarters. Spin is always 1 half. And l squared. This is known. Uh, it's equal, in fact, to n l m l 1 over r cubed n l m l which is equal, let me, let me discuss that again. It's a little a0, l, l plus 1, l plus 1 half. OK, so this is a known result. It's one of those expectation values that you can get uh, from Feynman, Hellman, or for other recursion relations. And this is always computed in the original uncoupled basis but we seem to need it in the coupled basis. So again, are we in trouble? No, this is actually the same. And it is the same only because this answer doesn't depend on ML. Because these states involve various combinations of ML and MS. But it doesn't depend on ML, so the answer is really the same. So these things are really the same. Happily, that uh, simplifies our work. And now we have E1 NLJM is equal to EN0. This is yet another notation. This is the ground state energy here, MC squared N. J, J plus 1 minus L, L plus 1 minus 3 quarters over L, L plus 1 half, L plus 1. OK. This is spin orbit. Uh, 